So it's best described as like the Tonys for high school theater. So all of the theaters, the high school theaters in the area put in their shows to get adjudicated by judges and they come and they pretty much tear apart every single part of your production and tell you either if you're doing really well in those areas or if you're kind of struggling. Uh, more often than not, it's a lot of negative feedback, but it's a great way for students to learn what they could be doing better, and it's a great way to see where students kind of measure up to their, I don't want to say competition, but th theaters in the area. I think at first it was kind of like a, a punch to the gut, because I didn't have this lighting board for very long before the adjudicators came in. We had it for about three days before our show ran, this new lighting board we have, and that was a huge learning curve for me. I was just glad that we were getting recognized at all, even if it was neg negative. And honestly, I think it just kind of lit a fire under me and just about every other person because now we're adjudicating this show, SpongeBob, and I think it's kind of, we kind of want to prove ourselves that we can be competitive and we can be like all the other schools in the area. Yeah, uh, I didn't win, I just got nominated, but since the nominations I've been contacted by the Kaufman, I've been contacted by a traveling show in Connecticut, um, they used my light design in the production they brought to Starlight. For the specific award I got, there were scholarship opportunities associated with it, so if you got first, second, or third, you got like X amount of money, so that was so nice to just um, to just know that there was people that wanted to put money into a program. Um, not really. I'm hoping to you know go off to college and continue to pursue lighting design. But if I don't get a scholarship, uh, I've thought about just going into the field of lighting design by myself. I've watched myself grow so much. And from when I first started, like if you were to look at photos of my first lighting design, I don't even have them anymore because I don't like to look at them. But just knowing that I grew that much in two, not even two full years, and I've been paid to do lighting design, I've done lighting design outside of the school, and just knowing that I could have a career in it just kind of keeps me going. And there's something new to learn every single day and every single show. There's a different obstacle to tackle and there's a new, avenue I can take, a new technique I've never done before. And it's just the the new challenges that every design brings just keeps me coming back. Come see the show. Lots of people have put in so much effort and we, we think that this will be a fun show for people to watch and I think that there's something for everyone in this show. Um, I would just say come if you have the opportunity to. We do, we're going to do four shows, um, Wednesday the 8th, 9th, not the 10th because of football, the 11th, at, and those are all at 7, and then we have one on Sunday at 2. Um, just come support because even though you might think you don't know anyone that does theater, we have like 120 kids in the show, so more likely you know somebody.